We start with the COVID-19 situation here in South Korea. The number of cases on Tuesday have climbed back up to the 350,000, but it isn't an exponential jump from the day before like we've seen for the past few weeks. For more, our Shin Yeun is on the line with us. Yeun, how many new infections have we added today? Well, Mogan, South Korea on Tuesday reported 353,980 new COVID-19 infections. This was an increase of more than 140,000 from the day before. And based on Tuesday's figures, authorities believe South Korea will pass the 10 million mark in total COVID-19 infections by tomorrow. On top of that, 384 more people have died, which surpassed yesterday's tally to become the second highest recorded since the start of the pandemic. Authorities have also recognized that the growing number of deaths is weighing down on crematoriums nationwide. That's why in the morning briefing on Tuesday, the head of the Central Disaster Management Headquarters, Hun young proposed to increase the number of cremations that each crematorium can do per day. They usually do between three and five a day, but since March 16th, crematoriums in larger cities have been allowed to cremate seven times a day. From now, though, health authorities are proposing that this measure will be applied to all crematoriums nationwide, and hopefully this will ease the work burden for crematoriums and reduce the waiting time that mourners go through before officially saying goodbye to their loved ones. Now, moving on to when we will be seeing an end to this Omicron surge, there's been differing opinions on when this will be. Any updates on that front from today's briefing? Well, Mogan, authorities said they would have to examine the number of cases this week to determine whether we're actually passing through the peak of Omicron. Though we've been seeing a relative drop in the number of new infections on Monday and Tuesday, health authorities have said that this is due to fewer tests done over the weekend. They added that on Wednesday, we'll probably see cases go up again because this week will be, and that's why they said this week will be an important indicator to determine whether we're actually passing through the peak of Omicron or not. On top of that, Authorities also raised concerns that the current Omicron wave may last longer with more people being infected with stealth Omicron. And stealth Omicron is a subvariant of Omicron that is known to be 30% more contagious. And up till Monday, over 41% of locally transmitted cases were traced back to this subvariant. That's all I have for you at this hour. Back to you, Mogan.